Right now, the interstate is back open, heading to Madison. What we know about a crash that left cars backed up for miles. And it doesn't feel like fall, but in Deerfield, fall fun is officially here. That's all coming up at 6. Well, thanks for sticking around with us tonight. I'm Brad Hamilton. Let's head straight outside for our weather with meteorologist Dawson Kopninski, who has your certified most accurate forecast. And, you know, I got to watch that post game as well, but from the comfort of outside, because it was just so nice, I didn't want to sit indoors any longer because outside it is just beautiful right now. Nothing but sunshine and our temperature is also around those mid 70s with extremely low dew points. So we're looking very, very comfortable right now. It feels just perfect outdoors. Again, I do want to start by taking a look at some of these dew points in those upper 40s and lower 50s. Now, these are going to be on the rise here for tonight. Notice how out west we're seeing a little bit more of those 50s. That is going to track our direction, and that actually keeps our low temperature a little bit elevated here for tonight. Temperatures currently, however, in the mid 70s. Janesville, one of the exceptions right now, currently at about 81 degrees. Taking a look at our Doppler track, and there is just nothing happening. No rain is expected here for tonight as we are looking to stay dry once more, but again, temperatures only falling down to around 57 degrees. Not as chilly as what we saw here last night. We are going to see those dew points rising to eventually meet those temperatures, and we're still looking at mostly clear skies. Just a pretty nice night overall, but what are we looking at here for this next week? We are going to see a big warm-up, followed by some rain chances, and then quite the cool down for the start of fall. I'll have a look at your extended forecast coming up here momentarily. Thanks so much, Austin. New tonight, I-3990 is back open following a crash just north of Stoughton. These videos were sent in to us by a driver near the crash, uh, which happened around 11 o'clock in Pleasant Springs. Dane County Dispatch confirmed to us that EMS was on the scene, but hasn't been able to report if anyone was hurt. Traffic was backed up for three miles before the road was reopened after two hours. While well, Janesville police say there's no threat at a local middle school, officers say they received information this week regarding potential violence by a student at Franklin Middle School. The threat was investigated and police say no valid threat exists. Now police plan to put out more information within the coming days. I was thinking this is the only time I've ever gone to a pumpkin patch in shorts. And so I'm ready for fall, but it still feels like summer a little bit. Well, fall doesn't officially begin until Wednesday, and today it certainly didn't feel like it. Dozens of families spent the afternoon at a pumpkin patch soaking in one last weekend of warmth while getting an early start on a fall tradition. We sent Christina Laurie to find out what's new at this year's fall festival. It's a picture perfect opening weekend here at Schuster's Farm and the past year has certainly put into perspective how fortunate we are when annual traditions can actually continue safely. And for many families, that means a trip out here to the farm. Our big new thing this year is our flower fields, which was going to just be for the summer. Two acres of zinnias and eight of sunflowers are just a few of the attractions drawing families to the farm this fall. Sarah Schuster says pumpkins are plentiful. There's orange everywhere with the spots of white um, and squash and everything's looking pretty good too. And when people drive up to your farm, they'll notice this year that the pumpkins are right in the front. This was the corn maze in the past. So, so why was that change made? Uh, big thing was crop rotation, that the corn maze had been here for 15 years in the same spot and it was time to move. But then in addition to that, with COVID, um, decided that having the pumpkin catch close, that people that don't feel comfortable on the wagon ride are able to go directly to the patch. The Schusters are still offering wagon rides around their 220 acres of land and their haunted forest is back too. We just, we just got so many acres. Um, it's, it, you know, I don't, if we have huge crowds, we'll have to go back to time tickets during the day. Uh, we're just going to have to play by ear. We'll see how things are going, see what the, you know, CDC said. And the fall season runs through Halloween, October 31st here at Schuster's Farm. You can find all of the information to buy your tickets and plan your visit at the link I've posted on our website, channel3000.com. Reporting in Deerfield for News 3 Now, I'm Christina Laurie. Well, next at 6, UW-Madison's Class of 2020 is finally getting its day at Camp Randall. The university hosted a celebration today for the recent graduates after their in-person ceremony was canceled due to the pandemic. Our college journey is made up of all kinds of moments like these. Moments in history, moments on campus, and moments of happiness. 
Well, Bucks guard and 2021 NBA champion Pat Connington was one of the speakers at today's ceremony. He says this was the perfect way to celebrate last year's graduates after everything that they've been through. And I think it's really great what the University of Wisconsin has done for the students, uh, the ones that weren't able to have an in-person graduation, to be able to get them all back to campus, or at least the vast majority of them, uh, to celebrate such a great achievement. UW estimates that about 2,700 graduates and more than 5,000 family members and friends attended today's celebration inside Camp Randall. Well, it's International Red Panda Day, but the Henry Villa Zoo is giving people more reasons to visit. The zoo partnered with the Dane County Health Department to host a pop-up vaccine clinic today, administering shots to anyone who's at least 12 years or older. People who participated were able to receive either the Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson shot. As an incentive, anyone who got their shot today was also entered into a raffle for a chance at a behind-the-scenes tour of the zoo. We really wanted to do our part. We do have some animals here on grounds that are susceptible to COVID. Um, our big cats, our primates, and then our mustelids, which are animals like badgers and otters. And we really want to be able to protect our animals as well. And one of the best ways we can do that is by having as many people vaccinated as possible that come to the zoo. Well, the zoo also had plenty of activities to celebrate International Red Panda Day to raise awareness for one of the most trafficked animals in the world. Well, an FDA advisory panel is rejecting a plan to offer Pfizer COVID booster shots to most Americans. The vote was 6-3 to three yesterday in opposition. Members of the panel and outside experts expressed frustration that Pfizer hasn't provided uh, as much data as they should for the safety of the extra dose. The panel did, however, endorse booster shots only for Americans 65 and older or for at high risk for severe disease. Well, just a reminder, if you're still trying to get that first dose of the vaccine, you can still get $100, but you're going to have to act fast. Governor Evers' vaccine incentive program ends tomorrow. Well, if you need help finding a place to get the shot, download our Channel 3000 News app where you can find the list of upcoming clinics. Well, several hundred protesters converged on the U.S. Capitol today, rallying in support of people charged in the January 6th riot. CBS News' Chris Van Cleve reports from Capitol Hill, where security was intense. Layers of security, barricades, and surveillance cameras were in place for this Capitol Hill protest. Former Trump campaign staffer Matt Brainerd organized Saturday's Justice for J6 rally in support of the insurrectionists who stormed the Capitol more than eight months ago. There are uniformed officers here who you, you, I demand that you respect, you're kind to, you're respectful to, and you're obedient to. Even well inside the fence perimeter here at the base of the Capitol, there are armored vehicles and police in riot gear. Take a look over here. You'll see these lines of vans inside our officers ready to respond almost like a quick reaction force if there are any reports of violence. This is part of an all-out effort to avoid a repeat of the violent storming of the Capitol that we saw on January 6th. They don't feel it's right for all these people to be locked up the way they got locked up. On Friday, the head of the Capitol Police said his officers were prepared and warned about the threat of clashes between protesters and counter protesters. In my opinion, that's the most likely uh, scenario for violence. As backup, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin approved a request to station 100 D.C. National Guard troops at an armory near the Capitol. They were cleared to carry batons, but not firearms. By the time the rally ended, law enforcement may have been breathing a sigh of relief, but not letting down their guard. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Capitol Hill. U.S. Capitol Police confirms four arrests were made today. Well, mil millions of kids have allergies, but coming up at 6, uh, you can get involved in a study with UW Health to learn more about why they get them. And later, there's a newly renovated exhibit in Sauk County. We're going to take you there tonight at 10. enough to think about maintaining. Luckily, your Volkswagen is easy. The 2021 Atlas, Atlas Crossport, and Tiguan have a lower cost of maintenance than their Subaru, Honda, and Toyota competitors. Life's easier in a Volkswagen. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the stylish and versatile 2021 Atlas Crossport SE Tech with 4Motion for just $4.39 a month. Steinhoff 
Staples Labor Day sale has been extended. There's still time to get great deals on the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses. Take 35 to 50% off store-wide and get great bonus buys like a Queen Beautyrest mattress, just $349. This sofa, only $649. A Queen bed, $699. A five-piece dining set, now $799. Only at Steinhoffels or Steinhoffels.com. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Researchers at UW's School of Medicine and Public Health are recruiting expecting mothers and families to join two new studies. The research will look at two of the most common chronic diseases in children, childhood asthma and childhood food allergies. The studies are funded by the NIH and researchers in UW's pediatric division and will follow a group of people that are born around the same time. The purpose of the study is to try to understand what causes allergies and asthma to begin with. And starting with kind of prenatal um, factors or before a baby's born, at the time of birth and after birth, um, what causes asthma. If you're interested in taking part in these studies, you can learn more on UW's Health's website at uwhealth.org. Well, for many of us, eating bread well, it feels like a guilty pleasure, worrying that it's loaded with carbs and low in nutrients, but at the experts at Consumer Reports explains, it doesn't have to feel that way. The wall of bread in your grocery store can be daunting. There seem to be more and more healthy ones to choose from. You'll see labels like multigrain, made with whole wheat, grains and seeds, and more. To help decipher the labels to make a healthy choice, look for whole grains listed first on the ingredient list. A whole grain has all three parts it was grown with, the bran, the germ, and the endosperm, and is more nutritious than a refined grain which doesn't include the two outer layers. Whole grains are high in fiber, which generally makes you feel fuller. More good news, whole grains are linked to a lower risk of heart disease, diabetes, certain cancers, and other health problems. But labels can be confusing. For instance, breads labeled multigrain or 12 grains can contain a mix of grains and even white flour. Breads labeled 100% whole grain or 100% whole wheat won't have other flours like white mixed in. Less than half of the breads that we looked at that were labeled multigrain, oat, made with whole grain, actually contained just whole grains. In addition to a high proportion of whole grains, Consumer Reports experts say the best healthy breads have minimal additives, 2 or 3 grams of fiber per slice, less than 150 milligrams of sodium, and 2 or less grams of added sugars. Nuts and seeds are an added bonus in bread. They add flavor, crunch, healthy fats, and fiber. Here are some breads that CR raised a toast to. 365 Whole Foods Market Organic Ancient Grains will upgrade your sandwich. It has 16 grams of whole grains in a slice, and it's low in sugars and sodium. Your morning toast will be better with nature's own 100% whole wheat. It has less than a gram of added sugars per slice. A slice of Dave's Killer Bread Organic Power Seed has more than a serving of whole grains with 19 grams. Spread with peanut butter for a protein-packed snack. This is Luz Montez. You can also make sure you're getting a whole grain loaf by baking it yourself. Consumer Reports has tips on the best way to do that up on their website. Well, coming up at 6, an update on our Coats for Kids collection drive. Plus, we're going to check in with our area's biggest Bloody Mary festival and the cause that it's benefiting for. And we're going to heat up tomorrow. Austin looks ahead at a very warm Sunday next in your certified most accurate forecast. Wells Asphalt Paving. Expert paving for over 40 years. Now offering $250 off your asphalt paving project for residential and commercial. From new construction to replacements. Call today and save at Wells Asphalt Paving. To be a thriver with metastatic breast cancer means asking for what we want and need. And we need.
need more time. So we want Kiskali. Living longer is possible and proven with Kiskali. When taken with fulvestrant in postmenopausal women with HR positive, HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer. Kiskali is a pill that's significantly more effective at delaying disease progression versus fulvestrant alone. Kiskali can cause lung problems or an abnormal heartbeat, which can lead to death. It can cause serious skin reactions, liver problems, and low white blood cell counts that may result in severe infections. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including breathing problems, cough, chest pain, a change in your heartbeat, dizziness, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, tiredness, loss of appetite, abdomen pain, bleeding, bruising, fever, chills, or other symptoms of an infection, a severe or worsening rash, are or plan to become pregnant, or breastfeeding. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. Ask your doctor about living longer with Giscali. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, people like GEICO because it's just easy. Bundling, for example. You've got car insurance here and home insurance here. Why not zoop, put them together? Save even more. Some things are better together, aren't they? Like um, tea and crumpets. You, you won't bundle just anything. Like, say, uh, a porcupine in a balloon factory. Now, that'd, that'd be a mess. I mean, for starters, porcupines are famously no good in a team setting. GEICO. Save even more when you bundle home and car insurance. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Get great offers from GM Financial and 1750 cash allowance on Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Wells Asphalt Paving, expert paving for over 40 years. Now offering $250 off your asphalt paving project for residential and commercial, from new construction to replacements. Call today and save at Wells Asphalt Paving. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. Well, welcome back. An update to our annual Coats for Kids campaign. With your help, so far we've collected more than 500 coats this year. We're hoping to collect 6,000 kid-sized coats this year to fill an urgent need in our area. Just take a new or gently used coats to any clean key, uh, cleaner location by October 9th. Well, the search for Wisconsin's best Bloody Mary came to head in Madison Saturday. Yahara Bay Distillers hosted its sixth annual Bloody Mary Fest. Attendees got a chance to sample 20 different Bloody Marys along with locally brewed beer. Organizers say the best part of the day is seeing all the competitors so supportive of one of another. We have the best time back there because everyone just becomes one team even though they're competing against each other and they're coming from different restaurants and different companies uh, it, by the end of the day everyone's dancing and singing and, and so it's probably my favorite part today's event also supported the goodman community center a portion of the sales were donated at, after the festival well, let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with meteorologist Austin Kopninski. And you know, it still does feel really beautiful outside. That is going to continue here for quite some time through tomorrow. Then we are going to notice some changes here to the forecast. Now, a few things of note, tomorrow and much of next week, we are still going to see a lot of sunshine. In fact, most of this forecast still does have a ton of overall sun. The main rain chance we're watching out for, it's going to be showers and storms, especially late late in the day on uh, Monday and some of that could linger into parts of Tuesday. Will that affect parts of the actual Packer game to be determined right now? But there are some good signs. I'll show you those a little bit later on. We're also looking at heating things up for tomorrow with the mid 80s, but then we can kiss those 80s goodbyes. We really are looking at quite the cool down afterwards. Beautiful look outside right now. This is our sunset on our Platteville uh, sky cam and right now it just looks fantastic. Not only does it look great out there, it feels just beautiful with temperatures in the mid 70s, lower dew points, beautiful overall night here tonight. Now our Doppler track is staying free of any showers or storms. We're going to take a big step back here because again, there's just really nothing happening out west. More good news for us. We're going to see another day of some sunshine for tomorrow and again, late in the day on Monday is when we're expecting that next chance for showers and storms. But let's show you that next rain chance tomorrow. Temperatures cranking up into those middle 80s at times and then still staying dry 
with a lot of sunshine, but then come Monday again, most of the daytime hours still looking to stay dry. This model trying to bring one or two isolated showers here before the main event, but then you can see those showers and storms really developed here out to our west. And as they make their way through, notice the time frame here, 1030 PM. Hopefully most of that game would already be done in Green Bay by the time this makes its way through. But as it does slowly work its way here across to the east again, 2 AM Green Bay is still looking pretty dry right there. So hopefully we can cross our fingers and keep this time frame up because it also means good news here for our Tuesday morning. Just an isolated shower is a possibility on Tuesday morning. Otherwise, we're going to see some more sunshine breaking loose there for the afternoon. So again, main rain chances really look to be late in the day on Monday into the wee hours of Tuesday morning, but afterwards really drying things out. I mean, we are just not looking at many, if any rain chances after we get through Monday and into early Tuesday morning, staying dry, even nationwide is going to be a little bit drier than average, which we could use a little bit more rain. We're still in that drought phase right here. But then again, we're looking at that big spike in temperatures on Sunday as well. After that cold front moves through, especially late on Monday, that is going to help to really bring down those temperatures. And we're going to be pretty close to average after that with 60s and 70s. 70s. And yes, that's right, 60s and 70s for high temperatures. Now our extended forecast is still going to show a lot of overall sunshine, but look at that, the first day of fall, that's when we really cool things down, and then it stays pretty cool afterwards. So Mother Nature really took note of the calendar here this year because it does look like we're pretty much flipping a switch and going from summer to fall in just a few short days. That Monday to Tuesday cold front really going to do some work on us to cool down these temperatures for quite some time. I was just curious again because I know your wealth of knowledge with this, but <laughs> do you worry about the pressure changing as I mean I know seasonal allergies are a thing, but do you right. worry about that when you see this much of a drastic change? You know, not too much overall because there are definitely times whenever we see even more of a drastic change where it could drop from 70s to even 50s or 40s. So thankfully, we're not seeing too crazy of a swing here, but it's really going to put us from well above average to right on the money for that next week. So it's putting us where we should be, but... I'm going to miss summer, I got to say it. Yeah, I know. Me too. <laughs> Thanks so much, Austin. Well, the Brewers keep proving time and time again never to count them out. See how last night's game gets the crew one step closer to clinching. More coming up in sports. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We know car accidents happen every day. Unfortunately, many of us don't know our rights when it happens to us. Victims often settle too soon and can't cover medical bills or long-term effects from the accident. Contact the personal injury attorneys at Gin Grass Thompson & Walks for a free consultation if you've suffered injury or loss due to a car accident. GTW attorneys are consistently recognized as the best and have won some of the biggest settlements and awards for their clients. Gin Grass Thompson & Walks. Success depends on the choices you make. But I know I've got this. And when it comes to controlling his type 2 diabetes, my dad's got this too. With the right choices, you have it in you to control your A1C. And once weekly Trulicity may help. Most people taking Trulicity reached an A1C under 7%. And it starts lowering blood sugar from the first dose by helping your body release the insulin it's already making. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Problems. Show your world what's truly inside. Ask your doctor about once weekly Trulicity. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. 
your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers, and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Sunday on News 3, how the Henry Vilas Zoo is helping get those vaccinated while enjoying the park. And we'll have your work week forecast. Join us Sunday morning starting at 6.30. Especially when it comes to their football program, who once again have been nothing short of impressive this season. Well, second week facing a ranked opponent, number 25 Barry is in town. Whitewater jumps out to a 16-0 lead, and nothing seems to be slowing down this squad. Following a Barry fumble, Alex Pete helps the Warhawks capitalize. Up the middle, spins in for another score. The Warhawks relentless this afternoon. Quarterback Max Myler, been spot on this season, throws a dart to Tyler Holty, and that just adds to their lead. Whitewater showing why they're ranked second. They earn a 39 to 7 win over Barry. Fourth ranked Edgewood hosting Jefferson for their homecoming game. Crusaders offense gets going midway through the first. Mason Falkers finds Jackson Trujan on the sideline. Amazing catch ball by Sweet Deep. Trujan takes it in for Edgewood's first touchdown. Almost a copy and paste play later on in the game. Cam Fain makes it look easy, and the, Cru the Crusaders win big on homecoming. 35-7, to now they're 5-0 on the season. Almost two weeks into the 2021 season, and injuries are plaguing almost every NFL team, and the Packers are no exception. News rolling out yesterday that pass rusher Zadarius Smith is being shut down for a bit and heading to the injured reserve. He's been battling a back injury for some time. This means he'll be out for a minimum of three games. And the mentality for Green Bay is next man up, but there's no doubt that the Pack will miss his presence on the field. Talking about one of the premier rushers in in the National Football League. So certainly anytime you lose that, that that is a big loss. But ultimately we have to do it within the collective effort of everybody out there. And it starts with making sure that everybody understands what we're trying to accomplish um, and the communication that it takes to go out there and perform at a high level. And Packers will also be without their defensive line coach on Monday. Jerry Montgomery is going through COVID-19 protocols. Three other defensive coaches will step up and help out with his responsibilities. The Packers haven't said if anyone else has been affected. And in case you missed the ending of the Brewers game last night, here it is. After being down 4 nothing, Brewers rally back, down a run with Locan at the plate. That single to right ties up the game, and it's Colton Wong who delivers with bases loaded. He bloops one to right, and that'll score two. Brewers going to win it 8-5. Magic number for a postseason berth is two. To clinch the division, it's four. Game two with the Cubs just began moments ago. We'll have more at 10. Well, thanks so much for that, Jordan. Now we're going to take a uh, check at our final weather here with Austin. And, you know, it's still a beautiful day outside. It's going to continue for the rest of today, but we're looking at tonight now. 57 degrees, mostly clear skies. It's not going to get as cool as what we have seen due to a southerly breeze. And not only that, we're also going to see dew points slowly working their way up here over these next few hours. Extended forecast does show the next rain chance late in the day on Monday into Tuesday morning. Right now, our models are holding it out just in time to allow the Packers game to go in full. Hopefully that's still going to be the case, but it does look like it's also going to clear out pretty early on Tuesday, leaving nothing but sunshine after. That's all we have for the show. We'll see you later at 10, Madison. Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021.